Hey guys, it's Alex Tubi here from alextubi.com and Instant with Alex on Instagram. I'm making this video today because there are a lot of new updates and features to Instagram and I wanted to kind of talk about them and show you guys what exactly they are. Um, it is a little bit hard to keep up with all of Instagram's new changes, so I thought a video would be helpful. So the first thing I want to talk about is some visual updates that Instagram has made to the app. So as you can see, on the bottom bar here, they've actually changed the center button, which used to be a camera, and now it's a plus sign. They've also changed the color of follow buttons. So uh, it used to be green. I think it used to be green or it was even white. Uh, now it's blue, everything seems like a blur now. So I don't know if they did this to try and get you to click that button because right now it's basically saying that Paul, whatever, uh, added me or started following me and then they've got that blue button that's like really making me want to press it and if I did press that I would be following Paul back. So I feel like they've implemented this blue color to try and encourage more clicks on the buttons that are blue. Uh, we'll see We'll see if that's the case in the future but anyway, so yeah, so all my new follow buttons are blue and you'll also notice that if someone I'm not following shows a blue button. So now when you follow them it turns white which I guess is kind of cool, I don't know. So that's just another visual change. Um, another thing that they've changed is on the top right here uh, where you can see your direct messages. It used to be like a little inbox icon. Now it's actually showing a red circle if you have notifications. Um, and then once you're inside it switches to a little paper airplane. Okay, so this is also shown uh, on your photos. So right beneath the photo, I see that paper airplane and I'm able to click that if I wanna send it to someone in a direct message. So those are just some visual changes. The next few features I wanna talk about actually have to do with Instagram stories. So as you know, Instagram stories came out a few months ago. Uh, it's been a big addition to Instagram. It's definitely kind of changed the platform a little bit and it's also bringing people away from Snapchat and more onto Instagram. So. Uh, if you want more information about Instagram stories, how they work, how you should use them, all the specific little details, I do have a blog post about that which will be linked beneath this video. Um, and then yeah, so today I just want to talk about some of the new things that they've added. So first things first, if you go into, so right now I'm on the house icon and then I'm going to go ahead and click my own picture there to start my own story. So an alternative to getting here would just be to swipe right from this screen. All right, so from here, you have a couple options. So Instagram just added the ability to send disappearing photos and videos in a private message. So basically now you can turn your Instagram story into a private message that will be deleted and disappeared for good in 24 hours. So if I wanted to do that, I would just simply take a photo and then I would click this arrow to the right and then I can choose to either add it to my story or I can choose to send it to somebody specifically. So now when I send that photo or video, they're gonna get a notification that they have a new private message and it's gonna be a video or photo from me and it's going to expire in 24 hours. So that's new and kind of fun um, and could be used in a lot of different ways. So just something to think about. Um, also, another thing that Instagram has added is the ability to tag people inside of your stories, okay? So you can now at mention yourself, your friends, people that appear in your story, influencers, whoever it may be, you can at mention them and that link becomes clickable. So if you wanna direct people via your Instagram story to somewhere else, you can do that with an at mention. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap the screen which brings up the text. I'm gonna click the at symbol, and then I'm gonna just start typing out my username, okay? So you can see me right away there, but it also generates other people with these letters in their names, so you can easily find and select people to tag in your story. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tag myself. You can drag that down. If, again, like I said, if you wanna learn more about you know how to use the pen tool and the text tool and all the other kind of little features inside of Instagram stories, definitely click that link to my Instagram stories blog post beneath this video. Okay, so uh, basically 
from here, you would share this to your story. Uh, normally, I wouldn't share something like this, but I'm going to do it really quick just so that you guys can see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button that says your story. All right, so now it is shared to my story, and here it is. If I click that, now I can click directly over to my Instagram account. So that's an amazing feature to not only get your audience onto your feed, but onto other people's feeds as well. So definitely something to implement. So another cool thing that Instagram has announced is that eventually we're going to be able to link to anything we want via our Instagram story. So that means linking to somewhere outside of Instagram. So imagine you made a story and then you said, you know, click the link to head over to my website to purchase my product or service. So that is in the making. Right now it's just for verified users. So for example, Gary V has one here where you can swipe up. And now that I've swiped up, his link is loading and it's taking me straight to his YouTube channel, which is amazing. Uh, I'm definitely jealous of verified users for having this feature and you know the rest of us have to wait um, and we'll see how Instagram handles this, if they're gonna give it to everyone or what exactly the plan is, but this is in the future and obviously you can see how beneficial that is. So he made a story, he said, I've got a new episode up, swipe up to go and see that episode and now all of a sudden we're right on his YouTube channel and we're ready to watch that video, okay? So super, super powerful. Definitely hoping that will come to uh, the rest of us soon. Okay, so from there, the next thing is that you can now go live on Instagram, okay? So if you are, so if you've, you know, ever used Facebook Live or Periscope or a similar app to that, uh, now we have that option with Instagram, or at least it's coming very soon. So Instagram did release a blog post saying that it was now live. It seems that some people do have this option and some people don't. So I personally don't have the option yet. When you go to your story, you would see a big live, go live button right up here, which you could click and go live. And how that works is you'll simply be live in your stories and there's no replay as there is with other live streaming apps. So basically you're gonna be live while you're recording and when it's done, it's gone for good, okay? So Instagram has stated that when you go live, it may, they emphasize on may, send your followers a notification saying you're live. So I think it will depend on, you know, who those followers are if they're engaging with you on a regular basis so say somebody likes all of your pictures they're always commenting on your stuff they're more likely to get a notification that you've gone live than somebody who's just been following you and they haven't engaged with your content okay so um other than that you're going to see in your top bar there you'll see a little live button underneath the people who are currently live streaming okay so here for example is somebody who's live. All you would do was click on that and then you can watch and you can add your comments, you can leave hearts, you can see at the top there's 55 people viewing, etc. So that is, it's very, very similar to Periscope if you've ever been on there. Um, so Instagram is obviously doing a great job of kind of eliminating all the other apps and you know keeping you on Instagram. So super, super cool. I can't wait until I get the opportunity to go live on my Instagram story. And yeah, so definitely a very, very powerful tool and something I'm interested in seeing what other people do with it, okay? So that's super huge. Um, it should be released to everyone within the next, hopefully the next week, if not the next month. Okay, so a brief men and coffee intermission. <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is my account. Um, I've been growing it for over almost two years now. Actually, holy crap, I think I just passed the two year mark. Um, anyway, so there's one more Instagram story feature that Instagram added, and that is that when you go to the explore tab, which is the magnifying glass, uh, you can now see stories across the top bar here of people that you don't follow, okay? So these are popular or trending or stories that Instagram thinks that you would be interested in. And yeah, you can go ahead and watch them there and it's a great way to find new people to follow. 
Also keep in mind that if you're using Instagram stories, you have the opportunity to show up here on your target markets explore feed. So it's definitely a great opportunity. Um, I would definitely be using Instagram stories even just for the chance to show up on the Explore feed and also because people are seeing really, really high views on their Instagram stories. Um, it's a lot easier to reach people than it is say on Snapchat and now with the tagging features. Um, yeah, it's just getting better and better and there's a lot of stuff that you can do and a lot of things you can implement to get people onto your Instagram feed. Okay, so definitely check out those features and then yeah, now I just wanna move on to the other features that aren't related to Instagram stories. Something I noticed recently was when you go to your notifications, if you scroll down, all the way down, I've noticed the suggestions for you section. So basically these are gonna be people that you know, whether that's from you know, your Facebook or someone that you've engaged with in the past. Um, so you have some sort of connection with these people and basically Instagram is suggesting that you might be interested in following them. So this is a cool way to find people that you might know in real life but aren't following on Instagram or just some other people that are connected to you in some way and could be of value to you and you may want to follow. So that suggestions for you section is new. Another thing that's new and for some reason I only have on one of my accounts. So this is an annoying thing that Instagram does and it, it rolls out their features one at a time and sometimes people get them and sometimes people don't get them and sometimes people with large accounts get them and some people with really small accounts get them and sometimes it's not consistent across the board. So for whatever reason, uh, my Women in Coffee account has this next feature whereas my other accounts don't. So that feature is being able to turn off your comments, okay? So if I go to a post that I recently shared, um, so I shared this 40 minutes ago and it's got five comments, but if for some reason I didn't want to allow comments on this post, I could simply press the three dots in the top right hand corner and turn off commenting. So this I believe was created for really popular accounts, say like Kylie Jenner, where she uploads a photo and then people comment like crazy trying to get people to visit their feed or they're spamming or their comments are just not relevant or maybe they're hate comments or something like that. Instagram has implemented this feature in order to combat that. So if you don't like the comments you've been getting, you can just simply turn them off. So that is pretty cool. Like I said, I only have it on one of my accounts. I'm not entirely sure why. So you may or may not have access to this feature. The next feature uh, is something that you've probably heard of already, and that is the ability to switch your profile into a business profile. So if you go up to the cog icon in the top right hand corner and scroll down, you'll see this option to switch to a business profile. Okay, I've also written a blog post all about business profiles and kind of my view on them and whether or not I'll be switching and that will be linked below if you're interested in reading that. But basically, you can connect your account to a Facebook business page. You'll get a little bit of analytics on your audience. Um, you'll have the opportunity to add a contact button to your feed and things like that that can be really helpful for businesses. So if you are interested, all you have to do is go to the cogs, scroll down to switch to business profile, and then follow the steps. So Alexander Wang, he's a fashion designer, obviously a business, and you can see that he has a contact button beside his follow button and he also has a clickable address link and yeah so if I were to click on that contact button then you know I can either get directions to the store I can call them or email them which is really handy for some people so definitely a very cool feature um, and something worth exploring so like I said definitely go read that blog post that I wrote about this because I explain it a lot more in detail and kind of everything you get and why you may or may not want to switch to it. All right, and then the last but not least, also an oldie but a goodie, is the ability to manage multiple Instagram accounts. So as you can see, I'm logged into four different accounts at the same time on the same phone, which is amazing because in the past this was not available, and for anyone who was a social media manager or just had multiple accounts, this was such a headache to have to log in and log out and log back in with all of your other accounts and just to just be able to keep up. So this has definitely been a lifesaver for myself and I know many others. So if you want to add an account, all you have to do is go to your profile, 
go up to the cog button and then scroll down until you see add account okay once you go there it'll basically take you to the home page of instagram where you'll just sign in and then that account will be added to your profile so you can just press and hold on your image in the bottom right and that will show all the accounts that you're logged into or alternatively you can click from the top and you'll be able to see all your accounts there there's also an add an account button there so there's a couple different options to add your accounts and then if you wanted to switch over to anything you simply just click that and instagram will handle the switch and now i'm logged in to men and coffee without having to go out without having to remember all my passwords any of that stuff so super super handy like i said an oldie but a goodie so um that is it for this video guys uh, i know that was a lot of information and i know that it will take time to get used to all these features i feel like instagram just keeps coming out with more and more and more and i don't even have time to kind of learn the old features but hey that's life that's technology today in 2016 it's always changing always updating so i hope this helps and i hope this you know keeps you on top of everything and possibly keeps you in front of your competition so uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will be back again soon, I'm sure, with another video just like this. So have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!